bye week, the Houston Texans playing at Las Vegas against the Raiders. The Raiders laying seven and a half in this one with a total 45 and a half. All right, there's a lot of different uh, avenues that we could probably travel on this one. Uh, Needless to say, when last we saw the Raiders, they scored a bunch, probably shoulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, won the game in Kansas City. We have no official play here. Scott Kellen, I'm going to come right back to you for a thought on Las Vegas at home with a Texans team that's been pretty competitive under Lovey Smith. They don't score a bunch, but they've hung in games. A thought from you, Scott. Yeah, no play for me here. If this total would tick back down, I got bet up earlier in the week and I missed it. Uh, if it would go back down to 44 and a half or less, I would probably play the over in this game. Both these teams, Houston is sixth best in the league, Vegas 11th best in the league in big pass plays generated. And both teams are bottom four in the league in giving up big pass plays, which can obviously lead to points here. Um, so I just need a little bit better number to play the over. And I'd also want to confirm that Darren Waller is going to play. He missed practice yesterday. So hopefully yeah, he can go as well. The other point here, just from a side standpoint, my numbers kind of support the Raiders in this game. But since Derek Carr came to the Raiders, one and seven against the spread as a home favorite of four or more points. They've only won one of those games by more than seven points. So they do not win games by margin. They might get Anthony, Anthony Everett back. They did lose Nate Hobbs. Uh, he's on the IRR, uh, one of their key secondary guys. Anthony Everett is due to come back now off injured to reserve. Maybe some help there in the secondary. Otherwise, their secondary is in a little bit of trouble, which would help support the over as well. No play, lean to the over, and I would be very careful laying points with the Raiders just based on their history. Damian Pierce can run the ball for the Texans. Chris Farley, any quick thoughts here if no official play on this one in Las Vegas? Yeah, strong lean to the Texans here. For whatever reason, the Raiders haven't won after a bye since 2016. Uh, They absolutely keep these games close, and I agree uh, with Scott Callen's assertion there. Uh, both of these teams, uh, including the Texans, should be able to get their pass games going a little bit. We still haven't seen uh, a big Davis Mills game, and I know that's not something we could expect probably a lot this year, but he does have some of those games. It's in a dome. It kind of sets up really well for that. I would I would go with you know a Lovey Smith coach team who, is he the best coach in the NFL? No, but he's, again, another good motivator coming off of a bye as well. Um, I, I, I could never look at the Raiders minus seven in this one. I just can't do it. You see Thomas there on the screen in our live chat saying, stay away. You don't just have to bet games just to bet games. If you don't really have an angle here on this, uh, again, the Raiders feel like they could have had a couple of wins, including that Kansas City win, but Mahomes got to them at Arrowhead when last we saw them a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Football. So no official play here on Texans against the Raiders.